Armando has Surungan biology and medicine videos. Please make sure to subscribe, join the four main group for the latest videos. Please visit Facebook Armando has Surungan. Now, in this video, we're going to look at acute renal failure, which is defined as um, a decrease in glomerular filtration rate. And I put reversible because in quotations because it may be reversible. Um, but essentially, it's you know, it's it's the damage to the kidneys, which will cause uh, a few problems, many problems actually. Um, and so we'll look at these these problems and some causes of acute renal failure. So here I'm just drawing the anatomy. Here we have the kidneys, the inferior vena cava, where the renal veins drain into, and then we have the ribs here. And here is the diaphragm, and here we have the aorta, which will supply the kidneys through the renal uh, artery. And here we have the pelvis. And now the kidneys, as we know, produce urine, which will travel through the ureter and go to the bladder. And urine is stored in the bladder, and when needed, the bladder will contract and expel urine through the urethra. Now above, uh, now above the kidneys, we have glands known as adrenal glands which are important because they produce some important hormones okay now i want to talk about the the main causes of acute renal failure and there's three main ones it can either be pre-renal before the kidneys intrarenal within the kidneys or post-renal after the kidneys so these are the main causes but now we will focus on each one and look at um, these in a bit more detail. So pre-renal cause of acute renal failure can be due to a sudden or, or severe decrease in blood pressure, or it can be due to a flow, um, a flow obstruction to the kidneys. And this can be due to uh, atherosclerosis or some form of is ischemia, so stenosis. And then you have intrarenal cause. Now, intrarenal causes include direct damage to the kidneys itself, inflammation within the kidneys, a form of infection, drugs, as well as autoimmune diseases such as systemic lupus erythr erythr erythromytosis. I hope I pronounced that right. And then the third one, the post-renal cause of acute renal failure, include mainly an obstruction of urine flow. So this can be due to a benign prostatic hyperplasia, kidney stones, as well as some form of bladder injury or tumor. Now we will mainly focus on intrarenal, uh, which is the most common form of acute renal failure. So it's the most common cause. Now, before we look into that, we should just quickly brush over the anatomy. So here we, I'm drawing the right kidney the ureter, the renal pelvis, the renal pyramids, within the, uh, which are within the renal medulla. And around this area are, are the functional units of the kidneys, which are called nephrons. So let's just zoom into one of these nephrons. So here I'm drawing one nephron. It has a, the head, which is the Bowman's capsule. And then we have this convoluted part called the proximal convoluted tubules, which then forms a loop of Henle, and then we have the distal convoluted tubules, and then the collecting ducts. So let us briefly look at the function of the kidneys, uh, of the nephrons. So in summary, an afferent arteriole which will carry blood from the renal artery. This afferent arteriole will come down, and it will be filtered in the glomerulus. And this occurs in the Bowman's capsule, the head of the nephron. A term to know is the glomerular filtration rate. And this is literally the rate at which the glomerulus filters the blood. When the blood is being filtered, filtrate is produced. And this is what will go through the nephron. The remaining blood will leave the glomerulus and exit out through the efferent arteriole. And this efferent arteriole will essentially make its way around the nephron as the vasorecta. The vasorecta 
the vasus rectus role is to reabsorb things from the filtrate that is within the nephron. As well, the vasorector rector will secrete things uh, that it doesn't need. It will secrete things from the blood back into the nephron as filtrate. The vasorector rector will then leave and head towards uh, and join with other veins and form essentially the renal vein. The filtrate, which is inside the nephron, is what we pee out. It's, it's our urine output. Okay, now let's just recap uh, the three main causes of acute renal failure. We have pre-renal, intrarenal, and post-renal. We will mainly focus on intrarenal. Now, intrarenal, in intrarenal um, causes, there's actually four main types. We can have acute glomerulonephritis, and this is literally inflammation of the glomerulus. One of, the main, one, of, one, one of the main causes of acute glomerulonephritis is an autoimmune condition known as systemic lupus erythematosus. The second type of intrarenal um, cause of acute renal failure is acute tubular necrosis. And this is actually the main uh, sort of sign we see in acute renal failure, uh, which is death of cells within the nephron. And 50% of acute renal failure cases um, have this feature. And then we have uh, acute interstitial nephritis, which is literally sort of inflammation of the interstitial space in the kidneys. And we see this mostly in aller allergic reactions as well as infection. Now, before we look at the fourth uh, sort of type of intrarenal cause of acute renal failure, we have to understand that pre-renal, intrarenal, and post-renal causes are all connected. For example, a pre-renal and post-renal can cause an intrarenal problem. And so this leads to the fourth main type of intrarenal uh, uh, cause of acute renal failure, which is vascular. Okay. So we know that acute renal failure is characterized mainly by a decrease in the glomerular filtration rate, or GFR. So why do we have this characteristic of a decrease in GFR? Well, it can be basically caused by two main changes. The first is vascular change, where we see endothelial dysfunction, where we see vasoconstriction, particularly in the afferent arterial, the arterial coming into the nephron, as well as we, see, we can see an increase in adhesion of inflammatory cells, such as neutrophils. And this will cause and aggravate the problem. It will cause inflammation. The second change we see is our tubular changes. So in tubular change, for example, here is within the tube, tube, tube of the nephron, uh, the filtrate normally goes this way, and we now see cell loss. We see damaged cell, and this can be due to necrosis or, you know, it can later cause apoptosis. So now it, it, these can form necrotic bodies, which will literally cause an obstruction in the tube, and as a result, the filtrate will backleak. The urine will backleak, and this can lead to other complications. So these are the two main changes um, that cause a decrease in GFR in intrarenal failure. Okay, so now just quickly going over the characteristics of acute renal failure. Functionally, we have, remember, a decrease in GFR, the filtration. This will lead to a decrease in urine output. And we will have, as a result of some problems in the tube, increase in nitrogenous waste in the blood, such as urea and creatinine. And this is what we can use to measure acute renal failure, uh, sort of the severity. Structurally, in acute renal failure, we have cell death due to apoptosis or necrosis, as well as loss of adhesion to intrinsic renal cells. And this will you know, lead to obstruction and stuff like that. 
So that concludes the video on acute renal failure. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.